The Chow Chow is a strong dog with a robust physique, but a cute and fluffy body. These canines have been employed to pull carts, herd cattle, and even aid in the hunt for ages. Also, they served as the Chinese Emperor's palace guard dog. Isn't it interesting? They are not only excellent companions, but also the social butterfly of dog breeds. We will tell you some cool facts about this dog breed in this video of Europa Pets. The name Chow Chow is not Chinese, despite its origins in China. In China, they are known as Song Shi Quan. So, whence did Chow Chow get his name? During the 18th century, English merchants developed a slang phrase for items imported from the East, Chow Chow, a pidgin English term. The dogs were dubbed Chow Chows because they were sent alongside other items such as china, dolls, and curios. You should think carefully before taking your Chow Chow puppy to the beach for your yearly summer vacation. Their bulky coats weigh them down when they swim, therefore they don't perform well in the water. That's correct. The Chow has a fetish, a penchant for feet. On a chilly winter day, the Chow is the ideal foot warmer, they're also wondering if you have a greedy landlord who refuses to turn on the heat. This is because Chows enjoy sitting on their feet and kissing them. The tongue of this breed has a strange shade of blue-purple-black, which is one of its most distinguishing characteristics. The hue is so striking that Chow with a more typical, pink tongue is enough to show that it isn't purebred. Unless, of course, the dog is extremely young. Chow Chow puppies have pink tongues that become white after a few months. The inventor of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud, had a pet Chow Chow named Jofi. Freud had no qualms about allowing Jofi to observe his treatment sessions, and in fact, he saw Jofi's presence as an integral part of the psychoanalytic process. He thought that canines could assess a patient's mental condition and were good judges of human character. One of the interesting facts about Chow Chows is that they walk in a straight-legged gait. Their natural fluffiness, the bobbing of their curly tails, and, of course, their distinctive stilted stride. The back legs of Chows are straight and do not bend like those of other breeds. They walk in a manner that is reminiscent of ballerinas in point. The effect is particularly noticeable in a very fluffy rough-coated Chow. Chow Chows come in a surprising number of coat colors in addition to their traditional red. They can also have coats that are deep black, blue, a deep dove gray, cinnamon, a warm brown, or cream. Blue Chows are among the most coveted and sought after, as they were formerly extremely uncommon and only found in locations like Tibetan monasteries. I hope you like this video. If you have any more doubts, feel free to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.